Hey, Motor Man here. And today we had a class with the Pan America. People have been asking about that. And I said, well, as soon as somebody shows up with one, I'll definitely put a video up of it. I also took the bike for a ride through the course. You're going to see that a little bit later on. And we had a strange thing happen today. This has never happened in 22 years. I often hear from riders that they're having a problem with the bike or that they believe the problem is the bike and not them. And I always get on the bike and I ride it and I show them that no, it's the nut behind the handlebars needs to be tightened up, meaning the rider needs to get better at the techniques. But today, today, it finally changed. This rider, you'll see him in just a moment. There's a Pan America, by the way. He's on a red street glide. And I got on the bike and he asked me to, he said, please take it for a ride through the course. And as I, I was going through the offset cone reef, and I, I couldn't figure out immediately what it was, but I was having trouble, having problems turning the handlebars quickly from side to side. When I brought the bike back to him, I asked him about what modifications he had done to the bike. I knew it had the super reach seat because he's, he's a shorter rider. He's about five foot six. And he said, oh, he also had the uh, super reach handlebars. So what was happening is the handlebars were so close to my chest that it was difficult to turn it quickly from side to side. In other words, I wasn't getting any leverage. That's very unusual, but he was right. By the way, what you saw there was me taking a rider through the uh, cone weave so that he could see what it should feel like because that rider, this was his first time, by the way, on a Harley. He rides a KTM 750 Duke, I believe he said. And he was very tentative on the bike. So I took him for a ride through the, the exercise to show him what it should feel like. And I believe it helped him as well. But anyway, uh, for you riders out there, depending on your height, I mean, I guess if you're like five foot two, the super reach handlebars and super reach seat will help you. But uh, I think that if you're five foot three or four or more, one or the other, don't get both of them. Yeah, you want to be have the handlebars nice and close to your chest for uh, leverage, but too close is going to give you the opposite effect. And this rider also, that's him on the red bike right there. He has an Ultra. He's from Canada. This is a bike he has here, and he's got the Ultra up in Canada. And he told me that uh, when he first got on the Ultra, he found that easier to ride. Now, the Ultra was stock. So, yeah, that's... And I was thinking, well, that's strange until I rode the bike, and I saw what he meant. The handlebars are just... The, the seating position is just too close, making it difficult and putting your wrist at an odd angle when turning the bars quickly uh, and a, a pretty good distance from side to side, not lock to lock. There's nothing on this course that needs lock to lock, but just going through a, a normal exercise, I found that, yeah, that it, it was the bike and not him because it was his third time here and, and I wasn't seeing any improvement. Now this rider here, you're seeing him come through. He's uh, initially very tentative on the bike, uh, didn't want to lean. He was trying to make these turns straight up, but after I took him for the ride, I believe he got the idea. And yeah, he got much better. Uh, I was proud of the guy. He made it through the course, but through every exercise, had a couple of errors like, like anything else. And this rider on the Pan America did very well. It's a very nimble motorcycle, short turning radius, and it breezed through the course. Uh, I could see that bike going through the police course, the 18 foot course easily as well. And there's a rumor that Harley may be doing a police version of that, uh, the Pan America which I think is a good idea. BMW has a police version of their adventure tour. And it was overall a very hot day, uh, the mid nineties, almost no breeze. And the riders made it all through. We take a lot of breaks when it's this hot, but yes, first time ever we had a Pan America, of the course, <laughs> the first time ever a rider was correct. It was the bike that was causing him so many problems. Now we move on is about 35 minutes or so into the class with three riders. We move along a lot quicker because they get to go through the exercises so many more times than when you have eight or 10 riders. In the summertime, we try to keep the classes small because it's so hot out. So we have this rider first time, as I said, ever, he had actually rented our road King first time on this type of bike. And he's doing very well, starting to get the hang of it, turning his head and eyes and I'm advising him to turn each time he comes through the gate. That's a gate between the two cones. I'm yelling turn so he knows exactly when he should start turning his handlebars. After a couple of times through the exercise, I no longer need to do that. Now here's our rider on the street glide that, as I said, yeah, he's uh, he should be whipping through it a lot faster 
because he's been to the class over the past few months. This, is, I think, was his third time. However, I believe his excuse, he, he the first time ever, somebody came up with the, an excuse, and it wasn't just an excuse. He was correct. It was difficult to ride because of the seating position being so close to the handlebars that once you turn the bars fully in one direction and try to get them back around the opposite direction, it was more difficult. The Pan America short wheelbase, short rake, easily goes through this exercise right now i've got the cones or, or the gates kind of wide i'm going to narrow them up in just a couple of minutes to give the riders more of a challenge and i put some circles into the exercise now we move on to the intersection it's set up right now 27 feet wide by 36 feet long none of the riders are having a problem with it Even the rider on the Road King, like I said, the bike is very new to him, first time on it, and he's already doing very well. Turning his head and eyes in the friction zone, a little pressure on the rear brake. Right there, the rider on the Pan America actually made an 18-foot U-turn. And as we move along, I'll narrow it down. And the last exercise is the snowman what we have here is a 30 foot circle to the left next circle is 26 feet to the right and the very last one is 24 feet to the left a lot of riders have problems with this because instead of looking only for the green tipped cones they look at the cone directly in front of them you start to look at that cone directly in front of them you're not going to make it but all the riders today made it through the very first time Now, if this were the actual motor officer course, that first circle would be 19 feet, the next one would be 18 feet, and the last 17 feet. The Pan America, if they make a police bike out of it, will easily go through that because it's got a short wheelbase and rake. The shorter the wheelbase, the shorter the rake, the more nimble the motorcycle. Right around the Road King, very proud of him, did a great job, had very low fear level. And then for the first time on a heavyweight motorcycle like this, and the first time on a heavyweight motorcycle and riding it through a course like this, and he did excellent. Took direction very well, turned his head and eyes, used the friction zone, a little pressure on the rear brake, and they all made it through. And as promised, this is me on the Pan America taking a run through the some of the exercises in the course now, this was taken by the way with a, a phone if you believe it I forgot to bring a, my GoPro camera so that's why all the shots you see are from the the drone and this one is from a, a phone I'm not quite as good as the, the GoPro cameras for this type of thing no problem going through this exercise this is a I'd written this bike before but never through the course so this is my first time riding it through the course and because I know the techniques very well I didn't have any problem with it, it took a little bit of getting used to because the motorcycle is very high but that only matters when you come to a stop I found the bike to be extremely nimble and I would say if I put in about Oh, two hours practice, I could easily make it through the actual motor officer course with 18 foot turns on this bike. Till next time.